Hello student, as we are discussing on the topic the French Revolution, in our last class we have discussed on the type of taxes that the third state were paying and how they were struggling to survive. Apart from that, we have discussed the emergence of new social group that is the middle class and their idea was been put forwarded by the philosopher that was John Locke, Rousseau and Montesquieu. Now in our today class, we will discuss on the topic the outbreak of revolutions and the France become a constitutional monarch. So now let us start our class. So outbreak of revolution. Out here some point has been listed which we will discuss. So what led to the outbreak of revolution? So Louis sixteen, he had planned to increase the taxes but in France as there exists the old regime, so on the basis of it the monarch did not have the power to impose the taxes according to his own will. For this, the monarch, what he has to do, he has to call a meeting of a state general. And when they pass or give proposal for new taxes, then only it can be implemented. So out here, we can see that the monarch had the right to call meeting of a state general and the state general being a political body, they used to send, that is the three state used to send their representative. If 100 people were there, the one who is representing the 100 people, that representative used to go to attend the meeting. So the monarch can only decide when to call meeting. And the last meeting was done on 1614. So on 5th May 1789, Louis XVI has called an assembly to pass proposal for new taxes. And he called them at Versailles. As in Versailles, they were having a big hall and that hall was being decorated for meeting. So the first and second state has sent 300 representatives each, that is first state 300, second state 300 and third state whereas has sent 600 representatives. Now at meeting, first and second state were sitting in a row facing each other on two sides while the 600 members of the third state had to stand at the back of the first and second state as because the third state were ill-treated and not given respect. The third state representatives were more prosperous and they were educated. But in the general meeting, peasant, artisan, artisan and woman, they were not allowed to enter the assembly. So the 600 representative who went to attend the meeting, to them, the peasant, artisan and woman, they have enlisted their problem and demand in 40,000 letters, which the representative had carried along with them. So out there in the general assembly meeting, there was a voting system which used to occur or conduct in old ways and it did not change and even Louis XVI has also determined to continue the same practice. What was the principle of the voting system? The principle was that first that first state should have one vote, second state one, third state one. That means each state should have one vote. That means one, 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 it used to be total three vote. But member of third state demanded to change the voting system as they have demanded that Voting should be done by each member of the representative. That means 300 representative, 300 votes should be there. 600 representative, 600 voting should be there. That means it should get right to vote. As in earlier, we have seen that first and second state, they were close to the king and they used to win the vote. Whereas third state were not like in and they were bound to pay the taxes so their problem were increasing and there was no one to listen their problem and accordingly first and second state used to win the vote and based on the monarch according to the monarch they used to increase the taxes as they did not have to pay the taxes so out here, the third state, they raised their voice against the privileges 
that the first and second state were enjoying and they have demanded that everyone should get equal right the idea of democratic principle as given by rousseau in his book social contact that is each representative must have one vote so that they can conduct, conduct the country or they can control the country and run it peacefully this idea of rousseau was been brought by the third state which was been rejected by the louis 16 so when this proposal was been rejected by the louis 16 the third state what they have done they have walked out of the assembly to protest against louis 16 so on 20 june all the member of the third state they assemble in the hall of an indoor tennis court in the ground of versailles out there they have declared national assembly and they have taken sworn to make a constitution for monarch where they the monarch will have limited power that they have decided this assembly was led by mirabeau and abyssal as if I, if any protest was to be there a leader should request so mirabeau and abyssal has was be was there to lead this assembly mirabeau he was born in a noble family but he used to support the third state and even he had even given effort to end the privileges of the first state and second state whereas abi says he was a priest and he has wrote an influential um, pamphlet called what is a third state within that pamphlet within the pamphlet of the what is a third state he has written about the third state and he has also said that they should get the rights and the special rights of the first state and second state should come to an end and everyone should get equal rights and should treated equally on the basis of their merit when this protest was going on during that time in france a severe winter had attack and it led to had a ba- bad harvest so when there was a bad harvest as the result was that the price of bread was increased and often the baker was exploited the rich people usually collect the bread from them and the poor they what they have to do they have to stand in a long queue and even after standing in a long queue they were not getting the food bread that is a uh, bread due to this uh, situation the crowd of anger women as the women they have to feed their ch- children they have to look after their household activity they become so angry and they forcefully enter the shop at that time the king thought that if they will forcefully if the crowd will forcefully enter the shop and take the bread there will be no bread left in the stock for them so the king has ordered the troops to move to paris what they have ordered move to the paris so on 14 uh, july the angry ca- crowd of of the france they have destroyed the bastille even in the countryside a rumor has spread as there was a rise of price was increased and apart from that rumors also increased what was the rumor the rumor was that that king has hired a decades and he has said him to destroy all the ripened crop of the peasant so due to this fear the peasant from several district they came out of their home they siege holes and pitch forks and they attack the fort and when they attack the fort from the fort whatever grain was there they have looted the grain for their survival and they burned all the documents that was containing the records of taxes so when this agitation was going on when the people were revolting destroying everything the novel became due to fear they got fear and what they have done they 
ran away from their homes and even some of them has migrated to their neighboring country when this agitation was become so brutal the people that time the king louis 16 has accepted the proposal the of national assembly and their demand to make constitutions and their demand to make constitution what was the demand of to make constitution that the king will have limited power so on night of 4th august 1789 the assembly had passed an order to abolish the feudal system and the tax system even the member of the clergy were also forced to give up their privileges and their power that is the tax which used to be paid to the church was been abolished and the land that the church used to own that was been seized as a result we can see that the government has acquired lot of asset worth at least 2 billion livres and on the basis of it whatever loan was there upon the government was been paid all now we will move to our next topic france become a constitutional monarch now now what was there under the constitutional monarch we will study in details now the constitutional assembly has completed its work and drafted its constitution in 1791 and its main objective of the national assembly was to limit the power of monarch that is to limit its power of the king and it has divided the power into three parts that is legislative executive and judiciary now legislative will make the law executive will look after the law made by the legislative and judiciary will look after the law that is been made is correct or not and it is been does it is been made according to the rules or not it that judiciary will check now in that time new political system has worked out now what is that political system is the you can see the fig, uh, figure out here the active and passive that is active citizen and passive citizen now active citizen who had got the right to vote and passive citizen who did not got the right to vote and in the passive uh, passive citizen it include women children and youth below 25 now in active citizen the one who got the right to vote is called active citizen and he must be the age of 25 years and apart from that there was some condition in the active citizen now what was that condition the condition was that the one who is paying tax equal to 3 days of labor wage was given the status of active citizen now the one who is capable to pay the tax of their 3 days wage equal they are been given the status of active citizen now this active citizen who got the right to vote used to choose the electors and the electors were were 50000 mean clear and this elector used to select the national assembly where there was 745 member Yeah. Now, what was the work of this national assembly? The work of this national assembly was to control the king and its minister. That means it used to keep a watch on them, so that they are execute. So, how they are executing their work, or in are they executing their work in proper way or not? that is on the basis of law or not it used to be checked by the national assembly but apart from that king had got a big power that is a veto clear now veto it means that if the power which king has got the veto power it means that the 
कि नेशनल असेंबली इफ नेशनल असेंबली विल मेक एनी लॉ एंड द किंग डिड नॉट लाइक दैट लॉ मेड बाय द नेशनल असेंबली देन द किंग यूज टू से दैट दिस लॉ कान बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड सो दिस इज द विटो पावर विच द किंग वॉज हैविंग नाउ सो आउट हेयर द एक्टिव सिटीजन कैन चूज द नेशनल असेंबली इन indirect way how that is they used to uh, elect the elector and this elector used to elect the national assembly so it means that they are active citizen are indirectly choosing the national assembly member but if you see in the judiciary section we can see that the active citizen they are directly selecting the judge now out here active citizen have got the right to directly select the judge so now to be the qualify as an electorate what a person should have a man a person a man must be of high tax payer that means if i want to be the member of electorate that means i must be capable to pay high tax that is 3 days of labor wage i should be able to pay as a tax now if to be the member of national assembly i should pay more than the 3 days of labor wage a tax that means it should be more than the tax i am paying to be the member of electorate so this is the thing which we can see the active citizen has got the right in the indirectly also electing the national assembly so the constitution began with the declaration of right of man and citizen now this france constitution began with the declaration of right of man and citizen so what was the right that big man and citizen used to get in this constitution the right include the right to life freedom of speech freedom of opinion equality before law this uh, this rights was established on the basis of natural and inalienable that is that means not separated from each other so this right was belonged to each each person out there by birth and could not be taken away so this declaration of right of man and citizen which they used to get they used to get by birth and everyone used to get this right and no one has got the power to take this right right so out here it was the duty of the state to save the right of the citizen that means it has become the duty of the state to safeguard the right of the citizen so that no one can enforce him to do certain thing which goes beyond their right so these are the declaration of right of man and citizen which you need to go through it so today till this much thank you